What is going on guys? Geranathol here and today we are back on the Pokemon TCG looking at I think the first deck I've played post rotation. Um, I've played it once just to kind of familiarize myself with it. I saw it going around quite a bit. Um, I've kind of changed I think like one or two things to the typical list that you see um, but we are still with the Gardevoir. Uh, I love playing this deck. Uh, but since we've lost Zacian, since we've lost Gardevoir and the Scream Tail that I was using, still love it, still think it's great, but I'm always interested in trying different things. We have Monkey Dory. So, once during your turn, if it has a Dark Energy, you can move three damage counters to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So not only does it do 30 damage to them, it takes off 30 damage from you, which means you can put one, or in some situations, two more Psychic Energies on to do 40 or sometimes 80 more damage. It's going to be interesting. Uh, so I think I've played this like once or twice. And I think I've picked it up. I think I know relatively where to go with it. So we have our typical attackers being the Screamtail and Drifloon. You can also use Gardevoir to attack. There is also Cresselia in case your opponents do play Manaphy. Uh, we have our Fluttermane uh, just to shut off our opponent's active Pokemon abilities. Uh, energy wise we have two dark and eight psychic i think that's pretty much standard for this trainers trainers we've got the boss's orders just the one of because we are also playing counter catcher we've got the heavy ball just in case we prize a drift luna greninja scream tail something like that earthen vessel to search for the energies just to make things a little bit easier uh, the technical machine evolution has come up i don't really know if i'm comfortable playing it at two i might just play it at one but it's one of those that you kind of want to see it so two probably does make sense arvin is just absolutely great in this deck because you can search an item and you can search a tool and it's obviously the bravery charm that gives you the extra hp to be able to put more energy on there nest balls most of the time you want to be hitting your greninja or the flutter main with Ultra Balls is handy just to search absolutely anything for Iono because majority of the time you are going to be slightly behind in the earlier game. An Unfair Stamp is just a dumb card because uh, you can search it off of Arvin and then Unfair Stamp. And then we got the Pal Pad to get back the Arvins. Usually I get back the Boss and the Turos. Turos does come up a couple times. But let's jump in. As I haven't played this too much, I will... As always, try and kind of speak you through what my thought process is, where we're going, how we're playing. Uh, but there may be mistakes. Everyone's got to learn. They're using a lightning deck box. Maybe they're still playing Maridon. I don't know if that deck is you know, any good anymore. I don't really know what's in the meta at the moment. I haven't played this in quite a long time. Mainly, just I've just been enjoying other things like Football Manager... Uh, EAFC we play a lot of Rocket League so uh, it's not that I don't enjoy this anymore I'll go first, I don't know if that's the best thing to do but I just haven't played this in quite a while so I'm not sure what's big and what's out there so it will be interesting to learn that as well so we do start off I think the Flutamine in the active is the best idea for this, we don't have the energy but we do have the other vessel um, the Luxurious Cape is really, really good for the final attack. Like, you don't want to put it on at any other point in case your opponent knocks it out and takes an extra prize. But putting a Luxurious Cape onto a Drifloon, then putting 8 energy on it, so it's got 160, and doing, like, 480 damage. Bit bonkers. What do we get for our turn? We get an Ultra Ball. Which I kind of feel the best bet might be to Earthen Vessel and get rid of the Ultra Ball. our two energy we've got all our energy here we've got the manaphy the monkey dory do we have we got the scream tail both gardevoirs both super rods i'm not I'm not entirely sure what we're missing just because i'm not 100 percent familiar with the deck but we will add these play the greninja discard one to draw two and we got the poffin which is absolutely ridiculous because we can put down both rolls. and i can see sometimes why you th like going second might be a little bit better because we would have been able to probably do a lot more uh, i think i do just 
end there. Um, I'm stopping him from having his concealed cards unless he retreats the Greninja. I maybe should have put down a Mana Fee and a Rox just to really, really be on the safe side. So, are we going to see what we're coming up against? A Raging Bolt. I remember they used to use Sandy Shocks. Uh, he can obviously play his supporter because he's going second. Um, I think, I can't remember what it's called. There's the Grass Mask Pokemon. I think they use that now to put Grass Energy on and then draw. Uh, he had the switch from the Arvin, which is fine. Kind of means he's not searching a, d a different item. But he's got the discard. Discarding the fighting energy is interesting. And an Ultra Ball. If he's got a Grass Energy, I assume he gets the Mask Pokemon. What was that? I didn't see what he added. Ah, no, this. I don't know what he's going for. I don't know what he's planning to do. Hitting a Curlier there is absolutely bonkers. We will get rid of the Psychic Energy, just because it's a bit harder to get back the Darks. Arvin and a Screamtail. Put down a Curlia. Don't really know what we want to... Maybe discard the Evolution at this point. Or maybe we do discard, because if we're going to use the Evolution, then we need the Dark Energy. I might get rid of the... We have both Super Rods. So I might, I can Arvin here to add, I mean, we'll discard an evolution and I guess Poffin might be a good thing to go for. We'll go for the Poffin. Because I can Poffin out. Maybe just the one Rolts. We'll go for the memory skip Rolts. We'll use this Curlier to discard the Evo. Hopefully drawing a Psychic Energy. Manaphy and Arvin. Is okay. It just means that we can put the Dark Energy here. We can Evolution. How many energy have we got? Two in the discard. Which means this screen will be doing 80, Drift Loon will be doing 120. So I think we use the evolution. I don't want to put anything down just yet. Or, or do I? Maybe I put down the screen tail in case he has like Iono. We've only got the one Arvin, so I don't want to pow pad just yet. We'll use the evolution doing the Curlier and the Rolts. So that gives us another Curlier for the draw for next turn and the Guard of Wild to start doing the energy. So we can do 80 damage with Screamtail to knock out this if he doesn't evolve it. We have the Arvin to be able to search for our items next turn. It would possibly be handy if he does knock something of mine out. I did notice the Monkey Dory wasn't in there actually thinking on it. So we've prized the Monkey Dory. We haven't prized any energies. We must have prized a couple other one-offs that I'm not too familiar with. It's got 160. And what does it do? Attach basic energy from your discard pile. Okay. But he still doesn't have too much here. Because he's got nothing at hand now. Or you can draw six. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good actually. I'm going to Curlia, discarding the Mana Fee. I don't think we're going to need it. Oh, we do have the Monkey Dory. I'm just silly. So where do we want to go from here? Might still be worth using the screen tail just to do a bit of damage. I 
This is just a fighting energy in there. I can always go into Arvin. And add an Ultra Ball and a Bravery Charm. I think we're missing one charm, actually. I don't think I discarded one. Yeah, so we're missing a charm. The Cresselia's in the prize as well. I don't know if that would be helpful, really. So we're gonna Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of the Heavy Ball. And I think we'll get rid of the Monkey Dory. Just because we've got the Dark Energy on here and there's only one left in deck. We will add a Curlia. Now, I think it's worth... I don't know if it is, actually, because I can retreat, put this one up, put one energy on it, and memory skip the Bellowing Thunder. I think that is the play, actually. Let's retreat, put this Rolts up. A single energy on. And memory skip the bellowing thunder. So he can't use it next turn if he does have the lightning energy. Uh, in, does he have? He doesn't have any fighting energy in the discard. Obviously, he's got the ability to use the Greninja now. But there's one, it's out of the active, and two, my Fluttermane's no longer in the active. But stopping him from using the Bellowing Thunder hopefully stops him from getting a knockout, which I know might have been helpful to do with the Unfair Stamp. But there's not really anything that I could have had get knocked out. Pokestop could probably hinder us, really. But we will see. He didn't get anything, which is good. And he is also playing the Sandy Shocks. The Shocks is four or fewer prize cards. But this guy is just whenever. And also heals. Okay. So he could put the Fighting Energy on this and just heal the damage. That is an option. We will Curlia. I may have to discard... The pow pad. Although saying that, it would it would be handy if he could knock me out, knock out a Pokemon, not me, because then I can unfair stamp. Because I I'd quite like to refresh my hand. In all honesty, that I add two more. Uh, you can add the fighting and the thunder. I don't know if he has a way of retreating this, though. If he has the switch, which I think he does because he's placed the thunder here, I'd be surprised if he doesn't. There's a nest. Nest ball. We can get a one prize knockout on that if we need to. He'd also he'd need to put one more energy on there to be able to retreat. Okay. This depends what we draw. An energy is helpful because we can Greninja. I'm gonna poker stop first though. And get rid of our Arvens. Which I think is all of them. It is. So I will be using Palpad to get two of them back. Greninja to discard and draw. What's this orders? I mean, if he doesn't have a switch and I boss this up, what does he do? I'm going to discard a Poffin. So we get an Arvin.
think. Retreat. Put up the scream tail. Curlier. Discard our other buddy poffin. I could. I don't want to discard the Drifloon yet. It's handy to have that in hand. Iono. Drawing both the Ionos doesn't really help us in this situation. We've used our Evelyn Vessel to try and find these. So I think our best bet is to put the energies on so that we can use Roaring Scream and boss up this because he ha he didn't have the switch last turn. And this has a four retreat cost because we can knock out this one. So I want a super rod here, but the monkey dory. I think I wait until he knocks out the scream tail to super rod. We will roaring scream. This guy. Probably don't want the Cresselia. Artisan. Okay. We've got a Super Rod, so we can put the Scream Tail back. We put back Dark Energy, Scream Tail, Monkey Dory, play the Artisan, put the Scream Tail back onto our active. Or we could put the Drifloon onto the active, because he'll be doing 180. Because I need to find some more energy. That's a pretty, uh, pretty good one there. He's got one from the discard. I mean, he can do 140 with this. If he's got any other, if he's got, like, energy switch or something like that. Because I've still got five prizes. I mean, if he plays that, it's just a free knockout. Okay. I get it. But that is a bit strange. Switch? That adds a switch. Or a switch or a switch cart. Trekking shoes. So if he's used his switch. Alright, okay. That's handy. And Greninja. Super Rod and a Curlia. I think at this point I'm okay to get rid of the Drifloon. Town Store. We can discard the energy. Energy and Iona. Definitely think I super rod at this point. Drifloon, Monkey Dory, and a, the Dark Energy. I could knock out this. Definitely could. The Iona, the Iona puts things back into my deck, but I don't think that's the right thing to do. I can either put two more on here and knock out this, which I think is going to be the better bet, actually. I know this now makes his Sandy Shocks live. But this is just replacing this. I think it's worth doing. May also be worth attaching the Psychic Energy to the Flutter main. No, because I want a discard with Greninja next turn. Um... I think playing the Artisan is okay. 
because I'd rather him just put another one of these on the bench. But let's take out this. Because it takes another two energy off the board as well. Uh, we'll go for prize three. Which is a bravery charm. Okay. It's incredible, because you can Iono and Bravery Stamp on the same turn. Unfair stamp, even. Okay, he had the candy. Uh, eh, that's, that's fair. So he's getting two energy from this, but then that means he would have been getting three. So the Drifloon is in here somewhere. And we've got the Super Rod to get the Drifloon back if we need to. We're quite far ahead. Um, it'd be difficult if he's able to knock out our Gardevoir. But we'd then have a knockout in return on his Garganusel. Probably murdering that in a pronouncement. Yeah, we'd have a return knockout only for one prize, but we'd still be ahead in the prize race. He's just detaching. Yeah, okay. So. Put up a Flutterman. That is our Iona. So we've got two more Psychic Energies in the deck. I think Radiant Greninja's kind of done what it needs to. Let's Artisan for the Drifloon. This gives it... So it's on 120. So it can do 300. Put an energy here. Put the Drifloon up. Put five on here, so I'll do 300 to knock out the Raging Bolt. This is the only downside. This bit takes a long time. But yeah, this will be the knockout on the Raging Bolt. Uh, I don't think I need to do anything else. Because I can super odd next turn to get the Drifloon and the Screamtail back. I don't really need to draw either. Because I have everything that I need. We'll take two and four. Uh, two Nest Balls. So they aren't one-offs, but both of them were in there, which is why I missed it. So he has to knock out this Drifloon in return. Which is odd for him putting the Sandy Shocks up to think he can do that. Oh, just another attach, actually. That's, that's fair. So he's got the Sardas. So he needs, in order to not lose next turn, he needs to knock out the Drifloon, get rid of the Artisan, and shuffle my hand back. Okay. I know this is only like the second or third game that I've played, but I didn't. There isn't really a point where I think the Monkey Dory would have come in handy. I mean, if I only had like four, four, uh, five energy in the discard, uh, you've got to have like all eight, really, haven't you? Uh, we'll put up the Flutterman. We will Super Rod, Drifloon, Screamtail.
Artisan for the Drifloon. Put on the Bravery Charm. I'm going to Unfair Stamp. Because why not? It's funny. Cool. It was just... <laughs> just in case I stuffed up. So it just puts less in his hand for next turn. So there we go, there's a nice handy win on that one. And we go up to the next rank. Oh, we're in Great League. I will do one more. Just to give myself a bit more knowledge of the deck. I think this is what I want to build in real life, considering I've got the majority of the Gardevoir stuff in real life. I think the handy thing is to actually let your opponent decide whether they they, they want to go first or second because then it kind of takes away that pressure because I really don't know if you want to go first or second with this because if we went second, we would have had two Curlia like, instantly. But going first, I don't really think it hurt momentum too much. Um, going second also allows you to see your opponent set up so you then know if you need to be worried about being hit by the Greninja. This isn't amazing. We've got Greninja to start us off. We'll see what he has. A Greninja as well. He's made me go first. We have a Rolts there. We're gonna buddy buddy Poffin. There are two other Rolts. We have prized the memory skip. We have prized a Curlia, maybe? Yes. A Curlia and a Gardevoir. Prized. Two Arvin, Curlia, Gardevoir. That's four. A Buddy Poffin for five. And a Dark Energy. It's not massively detrimental. It's not great, but it's not massively detrimental. Um, I'm going to play the Town Store just to get another search in and go for the Evolution. Um, and I think I'm going to go for the Mana Fee. Do I get the Drifloon while I'm here? I might as well. I want to try and thin the deck out as much as I can to hit an Energy or to hit Iono or Arvin. Um, and by adding the Evolution, it may push my opponent into playing Iona. And then I can just search it back with the town store anyway, but you know. You never know. That is a Palkia. I'm glad I got the Manaphy. Must have another water energy then. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, he discarded a boss's orders, which is interesting. He's played this. They take 20 less damage. Prime Catcher? I mean, you might as well use your Rule the Region, haven't you? Thin his deck out a little bit. Or just not add anything. Okay. I need a relatively good draw here. Curlia is a relatively good draw. Um, oh, I've got a Guard of Wire in hand, actually. <laughs> Makes things interesting. I think... We will discard the pal pad. Now, how far do we want to go with this? Let's go a bit further. Been rewarded for being a bit greedy. So we'll put an energy, the evolution, because we can make Gardevoir. And another Curlia. Which I think is our best bet. Maybe you can, I can select Drifloon even though I don't play it. It just sets it up <clears throat> so nicely. So we've got Iono if we need it. 
Um, I don't really want to play it. Because this guy hasn't done too much himself. Um, I will only have two energy in the discard, though. So... He hit nothing from the heavy ball. That's the V-Star. He has one energy in there. I... Ooh. Just to be able to space swell, that is... I feel like he's really, really far behind. And I don't mind that. Because if I can get an energy, I can take out his Radiant Greninja. And there it is. We will Greninja, Flutterman and Bravery Charm, always helpful. We're gonna counter capture, bring up the Greninja. And I think I will get rid of the Fluttermane. Priscilla and Boss. Doesn't really do too much, in all honesty. Let's put... Uh, I know he just gets the return knockout. But... Taking out his Greninja just, like, really limits him for the rest of it. And we might get something handy from the prize. So I, I am going to do it. We get Arvin, which is great. Arvin will really help. Because we can add the Earthen Vessel. So this one, top seven, reveal any. So you yeah, get an energy and a V star. Ultra Ball. It's got the V-Star and the Energy. For just a Palkia. I'm going to put up the Greninja. The Greninja. We got a Poffin. Which means we can Arvin. No, I have to add the. I have to add the vessel, don't I? We'll add the Evo because we can discard that to add two energy. I will just add both psychics here. And a Greninja. Super Rod and a Screamtail. So it has worked out really well. We're going to have five energy. I don't want to go like too deep. Good. It would have backfired. What else we got in here? Drifloon Rolts. We'll put the Drifloon, the Fluttermane, and the Rolts back. Then we can play the Artisan. We can search the Drifloon here. And I think maybe just putting in the Oh, we have five energy, so I do two hundred, which is we don't have the dark energy. I think putting in the Cresselia and just doing one hundred and ten. Maybe does make sense. Because it just puts the Palkia a lot lower. Um, I 
This could potentially backfire. Uh, so, mm, I don't want to do just 20. I probably could have thought about this a lot more thorough. But doing 110 here also puts it into knockout range of the Gardevoir. Um, I'm going to... Uh, no, I'll hold on to the Bravery Charm. Let's just Lunar Blast. Because now it's in knockout range if we have to Scream Tail. Like, if he retreats it, we can still Scream Tail to knock this out. We are behind on prizes, and this will then put us even further behind. But... Bidoof. Mm. And this will search him something else as well. Maybe another... Just another Bidoof. That's, that's fair. Because... Just in case I can knock out his, his first one, I guess. Um, but I don't know if he has any way of getting his energies and things back. Uh, we'll put up the Drifloon, because we can just put three energy on and then knock out the Pog here. Which I think is the smart thing to do. Maybe we also put on... Uh, do we put down... I just don't think it's worth putting the Monkey Dory. I will make sure this does. It does 180. Because I can... I'm going to put down the... Do I Arvin? I might as well. Do I want the Counter Catcher? Can I add the... We'll add a super rod. I will put down the scream tail. Put a bravery charm on it. I haven't curlyed, so we might as well. We're going to discard an Iono to show our opponent that we can play it if we want to, but I don't want to. Or we can Greninja to discard the energy. I don't want to stamp either. There is three. This is already going to knock it out, so I just don't think it's worth doing anything extra. I might as well just do this. Even ourselves up on prizes. Take prize two and three. A dark energy and a curlier. Would be handy if I wanted to put down the monkey dory. I understand him putting up the bidoof. He has to draw Bibarel here. He's drawn a nest ball. Irida. It's a water Pokemon, isn't it? And an item. I think he's just trying to all in um, getting a Bibarel. If he hits it, fair play. If he doesn't, and he probably just needs to consider... Okay, yeah. Awesome. We'll put on the Bravery Charm. Which means we can put another two on here. We can then boss the V-Star. I think it'd be the better shout. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything extra. Maybe discard another Iono just to show them that if we wanted to, we could have iono this turn as well. We'll just hit. So, how do we lose? We lose if he has any way of removing the Bravery Charm from the Drifloon and knocking out the Gardevoir. Otherwise, we win next turn. There's... Yeah, he's still playing, so... He believes it. Or she believes it. 
Um, I'm just going to attack. I, I could discard another Iono and then play the fourth, but... We'll just take the win here. And there's the memory skip rolls. Awesome. So yeah, this feels uh, a lot more kind of technical. you got to think a lot more, I feel. Because you've only got two, maybe three ways of attacking. So you have to be careful about what you're discarding and where you're, um, where you're sending your energy. Uh, because realistically, you're only attacking with the Drifloon and the Screamtail. Maybe with the Cresselia. And once again, like if you put your Gardevoir up into the extra... Uh, extra up into the active uh you run the risk of your opponent knocking out and your entire strategy is gone um this is the other post rotation thing i've played it is just a version of the screamtail uh i was playing it before the rotation to find out how it would work quite enjoy it do i prefer it to this i don't know I've played about four games now and haven't used the Monkey Dory yet. I'm sure it will come up at some point, but I haven't used the Monkey Dory yet. The Flutter Main has been very helpful. So I, I like that that's in there. I'm, I'm not sure what I'd change. I think the two Super Rod does come in really handy. I think we've discarded the Power Pad both times. Maybe I'd take out the power pad, but it's one of those one-offs that will just come up and come in handy. Uh, I play a town store. I see people playing the Temple of Sinnoh to shut down Lugia. But then, depending how far ahead they are and how, much, how many Archeops they have, they can just uh, use their attack to get rid of it. I know it means they have to put a lot of special energy on, but they just play that many. I don't think they care. I don't like Tempo of Sinnoh as a card, in all honesty. Um, Town Sword just feels a bit better, being able to search for the Charm, the Cape, and the Evo when we need it. Maybe 4 Iono is a bit of an overkill. I don't know what you'd replace it with, though, but maybe 4 is an overkill. Turo's has come up, so I will keep the Turo's in. It's very, very handy as a one-off. Uh, the Nest Balls were prized both times. and uh, no, Sorry, both Nest Balls were prized the first time. Then in the second game, we had double Poffin anyway. And the memory skip rolls, I feel, came up very handy in that first game. Forcing my opponent to do a little bit more than they probably wanted to, just to get a knockout. So, I am enjoying it. Um, I can't see what the big fuss is over the Monkey Dory, in all honesty. Maybe I just haven't hit the right thing with it yet. I haven't come up against Charizard, which is where I feel it would probably be the best bet. Because you could... I mean, it is just to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Maybe I'm not using it in the right way. Maybe you just should put this down all the time. But it kind of feels like Drifloon and Screamtail do more damage if they have damage counters on them. So it kind of feels counterproductive to do 30 damage to something on the bench to do like 60 or 90 less damage to an active Pokemon. Um, I get it if you have, say, all 8 energy, you put on 6, you 30 damage to their bench, you put another 2 on, so then you're still doing uh, your 240 or 360 damage, and you've done 30 to something in the on the bench, but then if they boss his order something up, like, all 8 of your energy are gone. So, I don't know, the verdict's out a little bit. I will play a bit more. Um... Maybe I take out an Iono, put in another Psychic Energy. Maybe I take out the Power Pad as well. Have 10 Psychic Energy. I feel like if you're going to be using the Monkey Dory shenanigans, you want the Psychic Energies in your reserve. But then saying that... What do I know? What do I know? As always, guys, that is everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.